What's the juiciest rumor at your school that turned out to be 100% true? The principal made a porn tape with a student when he was still just a teacher and had it hidden on school property. It all came out when the vice principal tried to use it as leverage to steal his job. The principal was forced to resign. The student in the video was 18, but the vice and the rest of the administration were fired for covering it up. The art teacher was sleeping with both the history teacher and RE teacher. She was married to the chemistry teacher, who she'd previously had an affair with, while married to the woodwork teacher. I believe she married the RE teacher sometime after I left school. Edit, a few people have asked what RE is. Religious education which state schools in the UK used to have to teach. Taught by an atheist which was refreshing. A younger male teacher, upper 20s, knew lie what, was having sex in his classroom during lunch with an older female teacher, married in her mid 40s. A student caught them and filmed them, pretty much blackmailed them into turning themselves in. That there was a girl in the boys bathroom giving BJs for $10. There really was, and she got expelled. That there is an underground bunker, from the Cold War era below the school. Not only is it there, but it turns out you can access it from the PE changing room through a secret trapdoor. Edit, it's in Krakow, Poland, because so many of you were curious. And it looks like there's actually lots of schools that have one. Edit 2, also, it is confirmed to be a bunker, but it was built before the school existed, and was most likely emptied by previous owners of the building. Two teachers that were married to each other were sleeping with students. The husband was the first to do it, and the wife found out, and slept with some of her students as revenge. Also, the resource officer was sleeping with some of the 18 year old seniors. All got confirmed, when they were fired for it. Well the teachers got fired. The officer got moved to bicycle patrol. We had a Spanish teacher, who would keep giving random financial slash business advice during classes. One day he tabbed over to his stock trading homepage and accidentally revealed that he was a millionaire. Rumors about his past started circulating. Around graduation some students found old newspaper articles confirming that he was a former meth dealer who had spent time in jail. Was a seriously cool guy, actually. We had a running joke around my school for years. If someone asked, could you insert question here? Most people would reply, I'll do it for a bag of Doritos. This was a school-wide inside joke, because a girl was caught king this guy's in the bathroom. Some authority figure had the bright idea of asking, why the horny teen would allow this. He said, she said she would do it for $3 and a bag of Doritos. No one ever saw the girl again, but the guy became a legend. My 6th grade math teacher was super creepy. He would assign seats randomly but always placed the girls in the front of the classroom, did the whole lingering stare thing, and was always trying to get people to hang out with him during lunch. I never did, but he was married and has a baby so no one really suspected him of anything other than being creepy. Fast forward about 7 years. The teacher ended up being a sex offender. He had an ongoing relationship with a girl that began when she was 13. Based on what I could see from the various news articles, she was either in my year or the year before me. The police came to arrest him in the middle of his class, cuffed him in front of his students, and then had him walk throughout campus, in cuffs to get to their car. I don't feel bad for him at all, but I can't imagine how his wife and son must feel. Edit, for everyone asking, this was in the Bay Area, California. The science teacher was a pedophile. Some kid found Viagra in his desk, and he was put in admin leave when they found a used condom in his trash after the search. Then kids came forward. Was not pretty. This one girl would make those colorful friendship bracelets made out of needlepoint floss for every guy she gave a BJ to. There were lots of bracelets. Edit, I shocking hope Emily doesn't have Reddit. Edit 2, just because Emily gave mad BJS doesn't mean I will. Get ya bracelets elsewhere. A girl got caught giving her boyfriend a BJ in one of the stairwells of my high school. The government teacher, one of the most ultra-religious and pure-hearted individuals on earth, was the one who caught them. Ended up in a science class with the girl. She gave no that she got caught and took her legend status like a champ. Still makes me laugh over a decade later. 
some kid in my year slash grade found nude pictures of his art teacher, female, on a school camera, when he went to take pictures of his painting. Didn't have a clue what to do about it, so just started telling people and no one believed him. Couple days later he's pulled out of class, and had to see the school headmaster about it. They found the camera and the photos and somehow the teacher was unaware whatsoever. Thing is the teacher didn't get any reprimands, but the kid got excluded a couple of days for spreading, true, rumors about the teacher. The cheerleading team was doing coke off the toilet seats. Edit. For everyone saying the tank would be better, maybe my high school was unusual, but we had the same high power flush toilets like other public bathrooms. They had no tanks. Just the base of the toilet and the seat. Our bathrooms had no doors to the entrance, probably as a deterrent to this behavior, so the counters were a no-go. The toilet paper dispensers were those large circular ones. Believe me I agree with those of you saying it's gross and idiotic, but there weren't that many alternatives in the bathroom. We weren't allowed to have bags or backpacks with us, so no one carried a purse, and they did it in the middle of class, so bringing a textbook would be suspect. Also the main offenders were too young to drive, so they didn't have keys necessarily, and this was pre-smartphone, and before the average high school student even had a cell phone. Edit 2, we'll glad the cheerleaders. Collective idiocy lead to my highest rated comment. Also some kid said, he was going to kill himself a bunch of times over getting worse grades than his little brother and finally, one day he jumped in front of a train, on the tracks right behind the school. I heard some details of what kids saw, and it was about as horrifying as you'd think. Some kids made semen frosted brownies, and gave them to another kid and he ate them. The rumor was, that a boys gym teacher and a senior girl in my class were involved. They got married when we graduated. He was at least 10 years older than she was. Spanish teacher was a former male porn star. Resource officer was a child molester, and then murdered his wife, after he was fired. He fled and they still, haven't found him over 10 years later. He's on Marshall's top 15 most wanted list. His name was Dan Hires and his mother thinks he's dead. The computer tech teacher got caught, having sex with a student. He was put on suspension, while the investigation was conducted. He killed himself by running his car into a tree. Rumor had it, that a teacher was having sex with some of his students, that wanted higher grades. No one believed it to be true, because he was married, and just had his third baby. 100% true and all the students were proud of it. He's still in jail 5 years later. One kid who was in my history class, jacked off in a giant communal pump bottle of ranch dressing the upperclassmen all used, was heard bragging about it in class but nobody believed him, until it got back to a teacher and they tested the dressing and lo and behold, jizz was present. Lots of scarred teenagers and lots of amused ones. There was a rumor, that our female English teacher was sleeping with the starting QB, and that her youngest child was not her husband's, but the QB's. She was caught sleeping with a different one of her students years later, and it is now known she has slept with a number of former students including the QB. Now people really think her youngest kid isn't her husband's. Edit, QB equals Quay Tearback. Sorry to my non-Americans on the thread. This is by far the most attention that a post of mine has received, and I love that it turned into a Blue Mountain State thread. Go Goats teacher from my high school, girls were creeped out by him, and constantly reported him for making them uncomfortable. He was quite obese, belly hung to knees, so the school and other students wrongly assumed these girls were being rude. Six years later he's in prison, after being caught with child porn on his computer, alongside upskirt photos of girls from my school. In middle school, a rumor floated around pretty much most of the school that the principal had a consistent record of sexual assault. And while dying no, he got arrested for sexual assault when I was a freshman in high school. It was all over the news and everything. A girl blew the whole basketball team after a game. Don't know the exact details, I just know the girl left and three kids got expelled. Edit, I'm not naming the high school for privacy reasons. The reason they got expelled was because it was a Catholic school, and they did it in the locker room. Probably not the juiciest thing, but the one I remember, because of how I found out. A few of our high school library's walls were weird. Sort of a lowercase b shape. 
so there was this empty space behind the bookshelves up against the walls. Tunnels. Basically. Word was, students working in there. I worked in the library. Had to move the shelves. Clean the tunnels. Found used condoms. It was an all-boys school at the time, if that matters. Mind, the condoms weren't the worst thing, really. The leftover food debris and there was worse, stuff like chicken bones. Edit, couple years later, I was talking with an ex-schoolmate. Another guy from our graduating class comes in. I hate that guy, my friend says. He's king gay. Uh, dude, you're gay. There's gay, and there's so king gay other gay people think you're ticking gay. Turns out that gent had been one of the entrepreneurial fellows selling services for a few dollars ago. I wasn't shocked, since I already had some idea, but I was surprised that the going rate had been so cheap. Two sports teachers were having an affair with each other, even though one of their spouses was also a sports teacher in the same school using the same dinky office. Rumor was confirmed when the two dudes had a fist fight in the basketball court. Our math teacher in high school had a student teacher she was helping, trained to take over for her, when she went on maternity leave. The student teacher was maybe 20 to 21, and a fairly attractive young woman. So naturally all the guys in the class, had a crush on her. One guy in particular was a super senior and 18 to 19. He flirted with her non-stop, and she would act super embarrassed, and blush and in a non-committal way tell him to knock it off. I'm sure you see where this is going. Well towards the end of the semester he was bragging about going on a date with her, and how they went to the movies then he went back to her place, and they had sex. We all thought he was full of. But the rumor got around the school and of course the teachers and faculty found out. Then one day she has just gone. And we had substitute teachers for the rest of the semester. We all knew what happened. Looking back it's kind of a shame, that she probably wrecked her future teaching career of him. We had two girls in our class, that played a game to seduce a teacher. They did the usual staying after class to get him alone, wore inappropriate clothes, that showed too much skin, touched him a lot, sat in his lap, laughed obnoxiously at any joke he made, etc. Girl a told girl B, she was tired of playing the game, after about a month, so she wanted to stop, and they seemingly did. But girl A was actually sleeping with the guy, since like the second week. Girl A told girl B about the situation, and not knowing what to do girl B told her mom. When the time came around for the teacher, to be confronted girl A killed herself, so that the teacher wouldn't be charged. The mother felt so bad, she that didn't tell the school, what was going on the minute she found out, so she felt responsible for the girl's death. The teacher was removed directly after the full story came out, he ended up running off, so he was never formally charged. The physics teacher was sexting and sleeping with one of his students, not sure if she was 18 or not at the time. Although honestly, no one was surprised. He was a little too friendly toward the girls, and changed his pants in the back of the classroom once. He ended up leaving for personal reasons over Thanksgiving break, but of course it got out. Sadly his wife was in her third trimester, which probably didn't make it any easier for her to find out her husband was sleeping with a high school student. The music teacher in my high school was rumored to have been fired for sending pics to a female student. There had been subs taking his place for nearly a month. The principal said he was too ill to come into work and eventually another rumor that he had cancer started spreading around. He had been bald longer than anyone could remember. If you asked any of the school staff what was going on, they would just say he's just sick right now. We don't know when he'll be returning. One day in my physics class everyone in the class pestered the teacher for the whole period until he finally gave in. Some people were still trying to argue the cancer story. One student asked the physics teacher, did he send nudes to that girl? And he finally said, that thing that you think happened, it happened. The student said, so he did. And the teacher simply nodded his head yes. A month or so later the music teacher showed up in school. Everyone was running up to him in the hallway asking what happened. He dodged every question and the last thing I heard him say was I'm just here to get some things. He didn't teach his class that day and I never saw him again. <laughs>